cooler. Why is my mic so quiet right now? Hold up. Go to sound settings on my computer. Okay, I turned my mic up. Why was my microphone so quiet? Is this going to be a problem I have every time I restart my computer? Go to device properties. Microphone. How do I save that setting? Alright, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm complaining about right now, and I'm apologizing that I'm complaining at the beginning of the stream, but this is an important topic for just me and the stream. Lately, my microphone, and not even my microphone, my computer and Windows 10 have been turning my microphone down to 50% volume. And then I have to go in to my computer settings, like the Windows 10 settings, and turn it back up to 100% volume. Which is why at the start of the stream, my microphone sounded so low, is because it was at 50% volume. I just turned it back up to 100%. And apparently... Every time I restart my computer, or just basically every time I turn my computer off, it resets that setting. How do I fix that? Why is this an issue now? Why is why is Windows 10 or my computer resetting my microphone settings? Oh, that's going to be annoying if every time Every time I restart my computer or turn my computer off, the next time I turn it on, I'm going to have to turn my microphone back up to 100% volume. That's irritating. That's irritating. You could play Warframe about it. I don't think that fixes anything. Man, I was promised sunshine and rainbows upgrading my computer to Windows 10, and while it has helped a lot of things, for example, I can play a ton of games now that I couldn't play before. And I have a ton of uh, programs that I couldn't use before. And I actually have... Uh, a default Windows antivirus because they stopped supporting that on Windows 7 which was really risky like I was staying on Windows 7 as long as I did was really really um, unsafe because I was opening myself up to a lot of potential viruses but Windows 10 has also brought me a lot of irritation like why am I constantly having issues and annoyance Alright. Anyways, anyways, I'll stop complaining about it. It's just... I, I guess this is my um, forewarning for anyone in the chat. If you ever hear my microphone really, really, really quiet, just tell me uh, in, in the Twitch chat to raise the volume of my microphone in Windows. Because... Windows 10 has lowered it, which is irritating. Oh, God. I've been complaining for four minutes, and now the game has started to turn off. Well, it didn't do it by force. So, to try and save power, the music's done a distort? Is it still distorted? Oh no, do I have to turn off the game and turn it back on just because I let it go into sleep mode? My Switch went into sleep mode and now it's broken. No, I, I, I normally turn my computer off every night just to save power. I don't put it in sleep mode. Is the game music still distorted? Yes or no? Or can I start playing the game? I 
don't think so. Okay, so I can start playing the game. Awesome. We love that. We love that. Alright, well, I mean... Interesting. You know what's funny, by the way? And I just learned this right now, when I was looking at my microphone settings. I did not know that the Blue Yeti, just microphone or company, was owned by Logitech now. They must have been bought out or something. Because I was looking at the settings of my microphone and it said, uh, it was owned by Logitech. Weird. Anyways. Anyways, so that's just... A fun new irritation when I have to deal with is every time I want to restart my computer, one of the startup things, or one of the first things I got to do when I turn it back on is turn my microphone back up to 100%. What was what the, the first thing we wanted to do today? Oh yeah, bro, I remember. Because we ended last stream kind of on, on a bit of a bummer, I guess you could say. We ended last stream without a slow king because we did not have enough Galerica twigs. I was also calling them Galarian twigs last stream because I was reading just the name of them wrong. I was reading the name of the item wrong. But off stream, I collected them um, and, and I now have enough of them. I now have enough Galerica twigs. And you might be wondering, well, why did you collect them off stream? You know, th that could be content. Because I thought to myself, uh, the the most boring content I could probably do on stream is picking up sticks. So I didn't do that on stream. I did that off stream. Be mad. That's okay. If you want to get upset at me, I will take that on the chin. But I didn't want to pick up sticks on stream. So I did it off stream. And uh, we now have enough Galerica twigs. We now have collected enough Wigs to evolve Slowpoke. Where is this old woman? Oh, there she is. Um, so we're gonna get a Slow King now for our living decks. Awesome. Awesome. Sorry, I got so, like, heated and feisty about the, uh, microphone fiasco that I forgot we were supposed to be capturing Pokemon. Um, so... Yeah, let's let's get into the actual content and sustenance of this stream. You know, let's actually play the game. And part of that will be finally completing what we attempted to do last stream and could not do, which is evolving Slowpoke into Slowking. I was so bummed out because I hate leaving my live streams on kind of a, a cliffhanger, if you will. Or at the very least, I hate not accomplishing something I set out to do in one stream and then kind of forcing myself to do it in another stream. I, I just don't like that uh, feeling of incompletion. I'm just, I'm just impatient as well, so I don't like waiting to finish a task in a video game. And, and I don't like waiting to finish a task on stream. So, the fact that we couldn't evolve Slow King in the last stream and I had to wait until this stream bummed me out. However, it's very, very nice that we finally have him, and it's it's, it's a good feeling of accomplishment. Um, so, yay, Slow King has been added to our list. Sloping, Slow King? Slow King, if I can enunciate, has been caught. What do we do next? I mean, do we do we go for Blissey? Do we do we try to catch Blissey? That's gonna be an annoying one, but we're gonna we're gonna have to eventually do it. I mean, we're trying to catch them all. So I'm going to have to eventually catch Blitzy. I have to get Corpus Lich weapons now. Hey, good luck with that, Zach. Good luck with that, my brother. So I quickly googled how to evolve Blitzy because I couldn't remember if it was a happiness or a stone. It is happiness. Chansey is a stone. Blissey is happiness. That's why I was getting them confused. So, question now is, where can we find a Chansey? Chansey. 
all over the place. Oh my god. Dude, we can find a Chansey literally everywhere. I accidentally pressed the B button, but... Okay, so Chansey... We can literally find anywhere and everywhere. I'm assuming, though... Though we can find it anywhere and everywhere, it's probably really rare. So I don't want to get my hopes up. Let's just fly out to the lowlands and start looking. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to get my hopes up. It might be... You know. Possible to find Chansey. In the entirety of the Isle of Armor. Then the question is going to be... How likely is it to actually spot a Chansey with our very own eyes? Um, figured I'd check the desert first, because that's the least likely place. So if we can kind of cross it off our mental checklist first, I know I just uh, don't have to worry about it again. There's also a lot of items back here. Hold up, I see a ton of items back here that I never picked up. What the heck am I doing? Let's just collect these items, shall we? What's going on? We're getting some TRs. Got a Firestone earlier. It, oh, so you're saying it isn't rare because you ran into a Chansey plenty of times to the point where it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, well that's good for me at least. I just kind of assumed it would be rare because no way would it be actually obtainable everywhere without, you know, a little bit of luck involved. If that makes sense. Like, for example, Absol, my good friend Absol, my, my shiny Absol here behind me, he uh, was catchable almost anywhere in the Crown Tundra, but most of those hatch rates were below 10%. So you could find him almost anywhere, but it was... Super, super... I wouldn't say rare, because, you know, 10%, 5% isn't obnoxiously rare, and it isn't obnoxiously low to find him at those odds, but it's still low. It's not 1% low, but it's low. So, that was uh, my thought process, that chance it would be somewhat similar to Absol. Anyways, I'm gonna stop looking in the caves. Like I said, I, I figure that would be the least likely place to find her, so at least we could cross off the list first. And just not have to worry about looking for Chansey there ever again. I know searching the least likely place first was maybe a dumb idea, but in, in my head it, it made sense. In, in my, uh, you know, ass backwards brain it made sense. We're not seeing a lot of stuff here, so maybe we head into the forest, why not, the forest to focus, I love the frame drops, thank you for not being able to run your own game on your own console, Nintendo, I love it, I love it. means the most to me. I feel like we could potentially find Chansey in the forest. It would just make sense, you know? Things that just make sense in my Brooklyn apartment. Rats. Sorry, now I'm just quoting random TikToks. We're not even 20 minutes into the stream and I'm already going a little insane. Don't mind me. Hey, we found Chansey. Let's go. Hope we can get it with a quick ball. 
and then feed it some curry, just force feed it down its gullet, and evolve it into Blissey. Dang it, Chancey, you're gonna be in the way. I can already tell. We, we love that last resort play from Chansey. Gotta love it, gotta love it. I haven't played Pokemon in a while though, so it's kind of nice to finally get back into it. I've been playing a ton of other games. Not because like I'm trying to avoid Pokemon, but because I've just been in a, in a weird mood where I wanted to mix it up on stream. I've played Pokemon a ton this year. I think it's the game I played the most in 2021, so I'm trying to mix it up here towards the end of the year. Like, I want to start playing Minecraft again. I miss Minecraft. I also want to, like, bring back Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley was the game I played the most at the beginning of my stream career, and now I barely played it all. Which is kind of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. Alright, let's give it a four store. It's not gonna be very happy if it's at one health and paralyzed. I wouldn't be very happy if I was at one health and paralyzed. And um what else can we give it? Do we have like a shell bell or something? Not shell bell, what am I thinking of? That's not the item I'm thinking of. Do we have that item that makes it happy? <laughs> What's that item called again? Soothe Bell. I knew it was something called a bell. We'll give it a Soothe Bell. Then we'll go into Pokemon Camp. And, um... We'll just play with Chansey a little bit. Hey, Chansey! No, no, how did I... I don't even know what Pokemon I just called. It was a Raccoon, apparently. We're gonna play with y'all for a little bit. Oh, you have no shot at ever getting that Chansey, I hope you know. Instead, I'll just sit here. I know I came here to level up Chansey, but now I'm having more fun playing Fetch with my shiny Absol. And it also, you know, helps that I love him more. Okay, he's just running into me. Alright, let's cook down. Cook down some food. Let me look up curry menu sword. Oh my god. That sneeze came out of nowhere. I almost didn't cover my nose with my shirt in time. That was not fun. I was not a fan. Alright. What do we want to make? Let's make some... I don't know. Let's make some curry we've never made before. I don't think I've ever made curry with bread. Okay, what berries does it suggest I use? Hondu? Kelpsy? Well, it depends on what type of toast curry I want to make. If we want to do like a... Let's do like a sweet toast curry for Chansey. So Kelpsy... What else? What else? Lum. Have some lum berries. Okay. Um, mango. Pekka. No, 
I just didn't want three pick of berries or whatever. Um, Salak and Citrus. Hey, thank you for the bless you in the chat. Alright. So I don't know, like, if you're supposed to do this as fast as possible, or, like, at a brisk, even pace. But I just do this shit like I'm spamming the A button in a Mario Party minigame. Like, fuck it. Apparently, if you cook curry with the Joy-Cons, you can go even faster. The Pro Controller kind of stifles your uh, ability. It's a handicap for your curry cooking abilities. But, whatever. Oh, uh, not big enough to burn it. Well, that's probably why I've never cooked a gold curry before. <laughs> probably why I've never cooked a gold curry before, because I'm over here spamming the A button. Like, my life depends on it. Feels bad, man. <laughs> and that was a bronze curry. Fuck. Alright, let's try this again. Now that we know. Now that we know. I've only ever cooked a silver curry before, but now we know, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be great. What's another type of curry I don't think I've ever cooked before? I don't think I've ever cooked a burger curry. Let me look up a recipe. Right. Let's just do a regular burger steak curry. So, Hondu, we need easily, don't even ask, Kelpsy, I mean, were you worried? <laughs> Look how I'm getting cocky over berries, Lum, what the fuck is Lum? Mako. Citrus. Did I pass it? I did. Okay. <laughs> so we don't stir fast. We don't want the flame flames too high. It says give it a good stir. I hear that, and I'm just like, well, I'm gonna put my fucking arm into this. Put some elbow grease into this stir. If, if they wanted it to be a slow, even stir, they should have said, give it a nice British stirring. Or something like that. Like, why are they saying give it a good stir? Exclamation mark. That is not the right wording. In my opinion. In my opinion. Alright? That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay? That's all I'm gonna say. How the fuck was that from? Was my flame too high? I just want some charcoal? Oh, fuck it. Chancy, get over here. Get oh, I know you're slow and dumb, but I want you to become a Blissey. AKA less slow and dumb, but still a little bit of both. Sorry, I'm being mean to Chancy. I actually really love Chancy. I just hate evolving any Pokemon with friendship in this game, so I'm picking it out on you and I apologize. Alright, go get it! I didn't throw it very far because you're very, very slow. 
Go get it. Absol really tried to come in there and rob that. Robber of that Pokeball, oh my god. That's crazy. Alright, we'll try this one more time. Then I think we'll take a break. Beautiful. So I know Chansey didn't get enough EXP to evolve. Or level up, I should say. But what if we give her... Like... Just a couple EXP candies. And see if that... Leads to evolution? Yes, no, maybe so. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's what we love to see, let me tell you. We're completing this living dex in no time. So the next one, I think we're gonna do... It's gonna be Iggly buff. I mean, we might as well just go in order, and Iggly buff would be going in order. However, I don't remember the item we need to get Iggly buff. Do we need an item, actually? Let me double check things. Oh, can we just... Can we just breed for Jigglypuff? I thought we needed to put Jigglypuff in the daycare with a very specific item on it. Like how you need to put Snorlax in the daycare with... You know. The... What's it called? Someone just tried calling me. But it showed up on my phone screen for like one frame. The fastest call in the West. Oh my god. Alright, according to Cerebi, I don't think we need an item. Like a specific item to get Igglypuff from the daycare. Could be wrong though. I'm gonna Google Igglypuff breeding. Or... Igglybuff egg? Igglypuff breeding, probably not. Okay, so you don't, yeah, okay. That got me the answer I was looking for. You do not need Jigglypuff to be holding a specific item. In order for the egg to be an Jigglypuff. I really thought you did. I'm going crazy, apparently. I'm actually going crazy. Don't mind me. Alright. Got ourselves an Igglybuff egg. We will put Jigglypuff back in the PC. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous, let me tell you. We're out here living our best life. Well, you know what? We'll even try to hatch this egg faster. I didn't think about it right away. But we'll even hatch this egg a bit faster by putting Chandelure in our party. Put that flame body in our party. You know what I mean? Uh, I remember him. I don't remember what he does for you, what his, like purpose is, what quests you do for him, 
I don't remember much about Parvos, but I remember him and his very low, grainy voice. His very raspy voice. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's Parvos. Was he a difficult fight? I don't remember. Hold on. What am I doing? I'm getting everything discombobulated here. Higglypuff. Higglybuff, I should say, will go in the... A living dex, and I just realized, with Igglybuff being obtained, we now have the first box of our DLC living dex complete. So obviously we've had the Galar living dex done for a while now, but our DLC living dex, this is the first box, done and dusted, which is really awesome. Um, okay, feeling good about that. Let's put Alakazam in the daycare. And we'll get a Kadabra. Why not? I know I could... Well... You know what? I don't want to breed for a ton of this living dex. That was honestly the most boring thing... About our... Last... Living dex, aka the Galar living dex I was just talking about. Is I did so much breeding... To complete it. I want this living dex to be different. I want to catch as much as I can. And I know there's a ton of Abra around. So let's just go catch another Abra. It's gonna be annoying because they always teleport and stuff. But let's just go try and catch an Abra. Why not? I know I've seen a ton of Abra. Like, if I don't have to breed for something, I'm not going to. I had to breed for Igglybuff. But Abra. Try and find. Beautiful. Just so sick of throwing glaze specters and then fucking nerds in the chat. I love him. You know what I still need to do on this computer? This fine new computer. I still need to get my Epic Games just platform installed and all the games on it. Because there were some fun games I had through Epic Games, like Subnautica and stuff. And I don't have any of those... I don't have any of those video games installed yet. I mean, I didn't play a ton of Subnautica, admittedly. But, I would like to. I would like to. It would be fun. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight after the stream. Just play some... Or not play, but at least download and install Epic Games and... You know, all the things I had through it. Beautiful. Alright, Kadabra has been added to the Living Dance. So what do we got next? Dun Sparse is next. I don't know if we... Oh my gosh, excuse me. I don't know if we can catch a Dun Sparse. I should actually, because this is something I have not taken into consideration yet. Um, Sword and Shield DLC version exclusives. I don't know what the version exclusives are, so I don't know if like Dun Sparse is one I can or cannot get. For example. A 
Okay, the first thing that popped up is a picture of the non-DLC version exclusives. Cool, but I specifically googled the DLC version exclusives. So that doesn't help me at all. Dang it. Okay, I found a list via Cerebi. Why don't I just look at look it up on Cerebi to begin with? That probably would have been the better decision. So Looking at the list of Pokemon exclusive to Shield, I don't see Dunsparce on the list. Cool. I mean, I think we're good to hunt it then. Let's look at the Pokedex. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't even seen it. I haven't even seen it. And we're going to have to Google where it's located. Done sparse. Where are you at, my boy? So. The Soothing Wetlands. Apparently. As a random encounter and an overworld encounter. I haven't seen it. That's crazy. That's kind of wild. So just to, uh, we'll double check actually. What weather is it right now? Super It is overcast. So we have a 16% chance of finding it in the overworld, 15% chance of finding it as a random counter. Interesting. Not great odds, but honestly not terrible either. I'll probably look for both random encounters and overworld encounters of Dunsparce. I'm surprised I don't have one. I'm gonna be honest. This one might take a while. This might be the first Pokemon tonight that Takes us a good bit to catch. And then I find it immediately. Alright, never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anything I say. I don't want to talk about it. next on the list we need a regular licky tongue I have a licky licky but not a regular licky tongue oddly enough where can we find a regular licky tongue okay we can find one here we can also find one in the caves I'm gonna quickly Google which one is more likely, like as far as percentages are concerned. That way I know where I should hunt this. Oh, it's just 5% across the board. Wow. It's just 5% across the board, baby. Interesting. And apparently, it's only an overworld spawn. You cannot get it in random encounter form. Which, honestly, is for the better, because random encounter... Well, as the name suggests, is random, so it's kind of annoying sometimes. 
dude, what is happening? We found our 15% Dunspars right away, and now 5% Lickitung right away. I'm on one tonight, boys. Okay. I have no words. What is actually going on? but in a good way like am I hacking? Are we hacking the game? Probably. Hepsil is thinking about camping. Not right now, but we gotta cash a licky tongue. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, let's send it to the box and see what we gotta catch next. All right, so next up is Ivysaur, which in order to get, we're gonna have to go back to the daycare, sadly. I'm trying to avoid the daycare as much as possible, like I said, but can't just catch an Ivysaur on the wild, so. Back to the daycare it is. We'll put Venusaur in the daycare. Get ourselves a Bulbasaur egg and then evolve that Bulbasaur into Ivysaur. <sighs> Easy peasy. Just need ourselves one egg. And actually, might as well put, or I, I might as well make space in my party for that one egg. And while I'm thinking about it, while I'm in the PC, I just will put Chandelure in our party so the egg hatches as fast as possible. Beautiful. Being proactive. I love it. Alright, we shall take the egg. It shall be my new best friend. We will also take Venusaur back. Pretty please. Okay. Let's hatch this bad boy. Dude, the more information comes out about Arceus Legends, the more excited I am to play it. I can't wait. I think it's going to be such a fun game. I think it's going to be just the best. be a nice, neat, and cute Bulbasaur. All three things we look for in a Bulbasaur, and all three things you're pretty much guaranteed when you get a Bulbasaur. I mean, come on. Every Bulbasaur is nice, neat, and cute. And we'll evolve into Ivysaur, which is also pretty much all three of those traits. I'm an Ivysaur fan, let me tell you. I love me a good Ivysaur. I think a lot of people look down on Ivysaur, they think he's like ugly. I love me a good Ivysaur. 
Took me years to figure out Bulbasaur's a frog. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame... I mean, I think Bulbasaur could be a lot of different things, to be fair. But frog is the most, like... The thing he looks the most like, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Got the weapon I wanted, Lich Hunt tomorrow maybe? Hey, nice, nice. We go with Sleep Powder if we already have Poison Powder. Eh, uh, no. I don't think we did. Nah, I don't think, like, Frog is very obvious, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get yourself down. Especially because he has, like, the head of, like, more of, like, a dog-like or just, like, mammal-like creature. Alright, Ivysaur obtained. We are moving at the speed of sound here, so what is next on our list? It is Tangela. Tangela and Tangrowth, which I feel like I've passed several times in the forest. We're going to the forest. You can't stop me. What is the fastest route to the forest? I think just going to the dojo. Speaking with, I need to Google Tangela. I don't remember how to evolve it into Tangrowth. So Cerebi is going to tell me that. Ancient power? Just need to teach it ancient power? Interesting. I also forgot to put Absol back in my party, which is... Kind of a necessity, considering he's my Pokemon catching Pokemon. I gave him False Swipe and Thunder Wave for a reason. So we take him back now. Okay. Let's go find us Tangela. A two of them, honestly, because we need to get Tangrowth as well. See, this is why I'm doing the Pokedex, like, in order, though, because it's just a lot more organized and efficient for me to catch Pokemon this way. Yeah. Like I said, I could have swore I've seen Tangela here in the forest. I, I might be crazy. I could have swore I saw the boy. Around here somewhere. There we go. No, it wasn't crazy. Beautiful. Wow. That quick ball did. Actually, nothing. Like, absolutely fuck all. Okay, we'll catch him the normal way. Fuck me, I guess. Hey, what's up, Drac? How you doing tonight, brother? How's your evening going? Okay. So it's kind of annoying that it's 
healing and such, but you know. That's what it is. We'll try to throw an off ball here and probably get a guaranteed catch. It's just like I said, irritating that's healing so much. This is gonna force me to attack it probably if this ultra ball fails. <laughs> like we're gonna have to attack it again. That's that Pikachu card with the 25th anniversary on it. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I had good luck tonight, except for this Tangela battle. This Tangela battle's going a little south, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I'm gonna have to hit it again with Fall Swipe. I'm crazy. <laughs> but so far, doing pretty good. I think I've caught already like 10 Pokemon this stream in under an hour, which is pretty good, with like, how fast we're normally normally obtaining new Pokemon and, you know, adding new Pokemon to our living decks. Tonight's stream has definitely been a lot more efficient, that's for sure. I got Slow King at the beginning of the stream, because, like I said, at the last stream, uh, you know, I was gonna obtain some twigs, I did that, and found enough of them off stream to evolve slow uh, so what is it why can't I think of his name dude what is the first one's name again holy hand I'm slow poke into slow king I actually just had like a complete and utter like, meltdown of the brain, where I just completely blanked out. That was crazy. Anyway, but yeah, I got Slow King, just to update you, and, um, now I'm catching Tangela and, well, Tangrowth. I was just gonna catch another Tangela, but that kind of saves me the trouble of evolving a second Tangela into Tangrowth. Now we'll just catch Tangrowth. Easy. Much, much easier. This is what I mean. Tonight's stream has been so efficient and simple. We're kind of killing it. Hey, that's nice. Shiny Duskull looks really cool, too. So, I'm definitely jealous you got a Shiny Duskull. How are we given so much trouble catching Tangela, but then Tangrowth catches immediately with the first quick ball. What? Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna question it. So what are we on next? Next would obviously be Starmie, and I know where I can find Starmie. That's for sure. I've even seen Starmie, like, on the beach a ton of times. A ton of times throughout this playthrough, so the fact that I haven't caught one is kind of surprising. Wait, you're not catching everything in one type of ball? No, that would be obnoxious. I just use a quick ball. If that doesn't work, I get it down to 1 HP and use an ultra ball. If I like it a lot, I'll use like a luxury ball or a premier ball. What the heck, Zach? I'm not trying to make this take thousands of hours to talk. I'm not trying to have this living dex take twice as long. I would like to eventually get back to, uh, shiny hunting. I would like to return to shiny hunting one day. Get a premier ball for everything, suffer. I'm good. I'm good. And plus, if I wanted to do, like, premier ball for everything, I'd have to do a lot of breeding for stuff, and that would be boring. Breeding... I already get bored of breeding in, like, shiny hunts. I want to do breeding for living decks as well. That's why I'm like trying to catch as much as I can and use the daycare for as little Pokemon as possible in this living decks. I got four packs of the Celebration pack. There's only four cards in each of them. Uh, kind of a bummer, but hey, at least you got four packs. Also, while we're catching this Starmie, I figure I should pose a question to chat because I don't know the answer. The next, um... Pokemon that we would need for our living decks is Kubfu. I have Urshifu, but I don't have Kubfu. Is there any way for me to get a Kubfu? Because I, like, am I, am I able to say, put my Urshifu in the daycare? 
I doubt it, because it's a, a legendary. But, like, how am I supposed to get a cub fruit for my living decks? Like, I'm a little lost. I I'm assuming we'll just skip over that for tonight, but it's a bit of a bummer. Another account. Darn. Well, for now, that'll just be an empty slot in our living decks, because I don't want to buy the... DLC twice. Unless, do I have to buy the DLC twice? Or if I have another account, can I just play it again? Or, to, for example, like, if I were to play it on my second account, can I just play through the game and do the DLC? Because I have it. I know I, I phrased that question very, very horribly and confusing, but I think you get the gist. Like, you don't have to buy it twice. Oh! So we just gotta play through the game a second time, on my second account. And that's how we'll get Cub Fu. Well... That could be a fun challenge. That could be an interesting... Challenge. Zach said, how not? I would also like an explanation, just because I'm curious, but... Explain it to Zach as well. Explain it to Zach, because he he wants to hear. I, I totally don't need to hear the explanation. Zach wants to hear it, but explain it, explain it. Not for me, for Zach. Totally not for me, but for Zach. <laughs> um, what's next on our on our list? Next on the list would be Carvanha and Sharpedo. Which is strange, because I know I have Sharpedo, but then I just remembered the Sharpedo I own is shiny, which is why you know, Sharpedo is not in the living decks. He's not in our living decks because he's in our shiny box. <laughs> he's in our box full of shiny Pokemon. So let's go catch a Sharpedo, and then I think we're gonna have to get Carvanha via the daycare, because I've never seen a Carvanha in the wild. Um, so we'll probably just have to breed for it. In most games, DLC is account specific. I have no clue, but I've done it three times. Alright, well then, we might just play through the, the game on our second account to get Cubfu straight up, which would be exciting and cool and fun. Could be a, a fun little like challenge stream. Um, I mean, I've been meaning to play through the game a second time anyways, because I feel bad that I still am like holding on to your Zamazenta draft. And at this point, I might just want to, like, give you something for it so I can keep it. Because I know I said I was going to borrow it, but at this point I kind of, like, just want to give you something for it. So I might play through the game a second time and give you, like, a Zacian. So I have a reason to play the- why did I do a second pick off? I'm dumb. Um, I have a reason to play the game a second time anyways, to get a, a Zacian. So, we could do a lot of things, and we could- we could get a lot of things out of playing the game a second time. Like, there is a lot of benefit from playing the game a second time. But if I was... Hold up, Zach. Your question in the chat, or your comment, I should say, in the chat, confused me. Wouldn't I have to play the game two more times to get an Urshit view of the other type and a Cub through? Oh, I don't want to play the game two more times. I don't want to play the game two more times. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but at the same time, I don't want to. At least not in, like, the near future. Why did I just use a heal ball? I, I think I misclicked. Or I'm dumb. Maybe both. It was close. It was close. <laughs> right, this battle's taking too long. Mostly because I'm getting distracted. I I am the worst at multitasking, so I'm like, I'm sitting over here talking to chat, 
and completely messing up my inputs and my like button presses in the game. And it's caused me to completely just ruin this battle and have it take two or three turns longer than it should have. It's fine. At least we caught the Sharpedo. That's all that matters. If, if we would have failed catching the Sharpedo and like accidentally killed it or ran away from it, I would have been real upset at myself. I would have been very disappointed at myself. Oh boy. Let's go to Turf Field so we can heal Absol. And then we'll just bike over to the daycare. Oh yeah, Drac was telling me this yesterday in the chat, and that sounds something both really, really cool and right up your alley, Zach. Okay. Um, while we're here... Switch out Cinderace, because we're going to need an empty spot in our party for the egg, and switch out oh, Hiccups, Absol, for Chandelure. But yeah, going back to my, my last point, I'm definitely down to play the game again from scratch before Diamond and Pearl comes out, but I don't know if I'd have the time and the energy to do it twice before Diamond and Pearl comes out. That'd be a lot. But I think we can do it again, just for, you know, things like extra legendaries, uh, like I said, a Kubfu, which we would need for our living decks. I think that could be fun. I like to be a, a nice little challenge stream. I don't know what the challenge would be, like maybe beating the game in one stream. That would be tough. I don't know if we could do it. It'd have to be like an eight, nine hour stream. But maybe. Maybe we could do it. Trade deal, you play it two more times? Would you play it two more times? If I played it two more times? That's the only only way I would do it. And I'd be more inclined to do it if you streamed it too. Because then it would be like content on both ends. We could do it like when we played Mario Kart together. Yeah, like a dual stream. That's what I'm saying. Because then I'd be more inclined to play two more times. But even still, I don't know if I have the time, bro. I'm so busy in October. Like, I've talked about this a little bit, but I'm going to Salem, Massachusetts this month. So I'm going to be taking a break from stream again for a couple days. While I'm on vacation. Like, I'm, I'm very busy this month. I don't know if... Maybe. Maybe I'll have time to play it two more times, but... That's, that's a hard thing to promise. I'm going to be in Massachusetts for half a week, like four or five days. I'm also going and doing like a double date to Hershey Park. One of the days of this month. So that's another day I can't stream. <laughs> we could make it a three-way and Brack just won't stream it. <laughs> that could be fun. Drack will just update us on his, you know, progress and positioning in the game via telegraph. And neither me or Zach know how to read Morse code, so it, it completely falls apart. Uh, man, I laugh at my own jokes too much sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. Alright. What, what do we need to work on after this? I think it's Scissor. Scissor. I think that's the next Pokemon we need to catch after this. What's Carvana? Hold up, I'm taking a break. To Google Carvana. And it's uh, shiny. Because I have... Oh, shit! That shiny is so fucking clean. Oh my god. I have Sharpedo shiny, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe we'll shiny hunt Carvana soon. We're... 
definitely shiny Hante Carvana. That shiny is so good. Dude, what the fuck? That shiny is amazing. Oh my god. Like I said, I got Sharpedo. I might as well get Carvana as well. That shiny is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the Sharpedo is the one you traded me. Like, we did that trade. Carvana. Oh my. That is absolutely gorgeous. That might be one of my favorite shinies, hands down. Like, top 10 in the game. I love it. I, and maybe this is recency bias talking, but I love it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, I'm getting distracted. We need to keep playing the game. Um, next up would be Scissor, like I said. I don't think we can just straight up catch. A scissor? Oh, maybe we can. Hold up, I need to go to the Isle of Armor first. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's fly over the Isle of Armor. But I, I still don't think we can catch one. At the very least, we can go catch a Scyther. Because there are, you know, plenty of Scyther around. <laughs> and then we'll just evolve it. I also need to put Absol back in my party. I think I like Carvanha better than Sharpedo Shiny. I'm gonna be honest with you. I love it. That is, it just looks so good, bro. I mean, Sharpedo's is amazing, don't get me wrong. Sharpedo's shiny looks clean. But I like Carvana's because Carvana has multiple colors. Meanwhile, Sharpedo's just one color. Um, thank you for the help in the chat, Drac. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it might be, like I said, it might be recency bias talking, but I really, really like Carvana. Alright, let's catch a second Scyther. And this one will be evolved into Scissor. Oh, dang it. Quick Ball didn't work. Okay, so for Scissor, we need a Metal Coat. I had to Google that, because I did not remember how to evolve Scyther. Um, so we're going to need a Metal Coat and a Trade. Drac, do you mind helping me with that trade, brother? Ooh. I would greatly appreciate it, my friend. Also, speaking of Shinies, from a really, really good Shiny in Kavanha to a really, really bad Shiny, Scyther Shiny is so disappointing. It just becomes a darker shade of green, man. Why is Thunder Wave not working? Come on now. Paralyze the boy. Thank you, Drac. I appreciate the help. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I think we're gonna hit it with one more false swipe and then catch it. I'm pretty sure I have a metal coat. 90% sure. Yeah, I know the the like upper part of the legs change, but it's such a like small portion of Scyther. Oh yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. Let me let me look up Scissor Shiny in a second after I throw this Ultra Ball. Um, let me look up his shiny. Oh yeah, his shiny's pretty good. I like that shiny. It's pretty nice. That shiny's worth it, I agree. I'd say Scyther shiny's just disappointing. I, I think I'm just especially disappointed because I love Scyther so much, so... It bums me out that a shiny is not worth it, in my opinion. 
Shadow Shiny. I can't even say it. It's like a tongue twister. It's three S words in a row. Shadow Shiny. Sh I can't say it, bro. Shadow Shiny Scyther. Sounds cool, though. That is really cool. That's like back in the day when I was a kid, I'd have all these like dark cards or like Team Rocket Pokemon cards. And those I loved. I thought those cards were so cool. Those were some of my favorite Pokemon cards growing up. Where am I going? I'm trying to heal Absol. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this Scyther. Put a metal coat on him, and we'll do this trade. We had seven metal coats. Wow. Didn't realize I had that many. Not crazy. Connect to the internet. Link trade. And we'll just have the code be the usual. Nine descending down to two. Beautiful. Alright. Ooh, that's a pretty shiny. That's very pretty shiny. That's like an S tier shiny right there. Oh yeah, and you can have your bold ore. Uh, evolve too, why not? Why not, brother? Two for the price of one. <laughs> So what do we want to do after this? What's next in line, I should say? Uh, is it Azuril? Do we have an Azuril? I don't know. We might need to get an Azuril from the daycare. Oh, is it level 10 because of Pokemon Go? That's funny. Now you have a shiny Gigalith. Gigalith is such a cool Pokemon, too. I think it's one of my favorite, like, generic uh rock type pokemon you know like how every generation has to have its version of geodude i think gigalith might be one of my favorites not only because it's shiny is so cool but just because it looks so menacing i just like it a lot oh we have azrael but we don't have a zoomerel so we'll just get a zoomerel next Azumarill will be our next Pokemon we catch. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm surprised we had Azuril. You know, one thing I need to get back into now that I have this new computer is TikTok. I have not been uploading TikTok in like a month and a half. Because my old computer died, which is, you know, how I was making my TikToks. I was editing them on my old computer. So old computer died. Couldn't make TikToks anymore. Then I got this new computer, and I just kind of forgot about TikTok. And I haven't been making them on this new computer. I haven't been editing them, uploading them. And I need to get back into it, because TikTok was actually a really good way of, like growing on social media and growing my content creation, growing my Twitch even. Like, I was getting new followers from TikTok on Twitch. I haven't made any TikToks in like a month and a half, which is probably not good. Um, so I should probably, yeah, like I said, get back into that. But I've just forgotten about it because I didn't have a computer for so long. Um, but yeah, I need to get back into it. That's for sure. Habitat unknown. I 
Okay, I guess we're gonna go get an Azuril. I just have to evolve it twice. Speaking of which, how do we evolve Azuril? Let me look that up on Cerebi real quick. Azuril has a really cool shiny as well, now that I think about it. Oh, it's Happiness, and then level 18. I really don't want to evolve with Happiness, so this might be one of the few times I cop out and go to the daycare. I'm gonna be honest. We're going to take Marill to the daycare and just get another Marill egg. Because, fun fact, if you put Marill in the daycare, you'll just get a Marill. You need <laughs> the sea incense for an Azarill. So, yeah. I'm going to... Take this Marill, he's not holding a C incense, good. Put him in the daycare. Because like I said, I didn't feel like catching an Azuril from the cave, and then having to evolve it with happiness into Marill, and then having to evolve it to Azuril with an EXP candy. It just would have been too much work and too annoying. I, I don't know. I don't like evolving with happiness because it takes so long. Yes, this game did a very, very good job of <laughs> cutting that process down a ton and it, it does not take as much time to evolve with happiness. I'll give Pokemon Sword and Shield credit for that at least. Like, It takes much, much less time to evolve with happiness in this game. But it still takes a, a notable amount of time to evolve with happiness in this game. Therefore, just taking Marill to the daycare and getting an egg would be less. Much, much less time. I got a dark Pokemon today from a pack? Dark Sylveon, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, because it's, like, almost a complete opposite. Like, Sylveon is such a bright and happy Pokemon, but then Dark Sylveon is the exact opposite. That sounds like a cool card. Oh, oh, I like it, too. You just sent me a picture on Discord. That's a cool card. I like that a lot. That's pretty dope. I'm a big fan of that card, Dark Sylveon, just the premise alone is pretty cool. Alright. Got ourselves another Marill. And um, we'll evolve it in Azura. We need to get it to level 18. Level 18 to evolve, not too bad. It's honestly pretty easy. It's my real nose perish song, oh my god. Jesus, my real. Alright. Go off. Just casual Parish Song is one of its egg moves. I love it. Should we learn Bounce? Bounce wouldn't be terrible. Neither would Aqua Tail. All right, we got ourselves in a Zoomerill. Awesome.
Okay. Um, I wanted to check something real quick. I've been trying to upload more of my VODs to YouTube, because they obviously don't stay on Twitch forever, because I'm not a Twitch partner. Um, but I'm very behind on that process. Like, I'm, I'm very behind on uploading VODs to YouTube. And I don't upload every single VOD, so it's kind of disjointed in that, you know, because I don't upload every VOD, there's like some that I have uploaded, some that I haven't. So if you do watch them on YouTube, you won't like get the whole picture, I guess. Like, I don't know. I think it's silly to only watch my Twitch streams through YouTube. But if that's what people are doing, I feel bad. On my part. On my part, I will say. Because the VODs are going to be completely disjointed. Um, in that I don't upload every single one. So a lot of, say, the narrative of my streams are lost. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But... I don't know. I, sh I should definitely upload more VODs to YouTube because I'm not a Twitch partner, so therefore they eventually get deleted and removed from my Twitch page. They just expire. So I want to upload more tw to Twitch VODs to YouTube. I, like I said, I just feel bad that they're so sporadic on my, my, my YouTube channel for Twitch VODs. Like, if, if anyone were to not follow my Twitch page, not even know my Twitch page existed, but solely watch my live streams through the YouTube channel for them, they would think that I am, like, the most dysfunctional streamer ever. And, uh, I feel bad. I feel bad for that person. And it's my fault, entirely. Because I very rarely upload, upload to that channel. Hey, Ninetales just uploaded. Ninetales just uploaded. Ninetales just leveled up to 100. Oh, my commentary is all over the place right now. Apologies, chat. All right, we need to now level up Whimsur to a Loudred, so he needs to evolve twice. Fun fact. Um, or Whismur. I always mispronounce his name. I always call him Windsor, but it's Wismer. Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. And also, Draft has sent me more pictures of Pokemon cards. Oh, I like that Zacian card. That Zacian card's pretty dope. Alright. Wismer leveled up one time, and now is going to evolve one time. Then we just gotta... Level him up one more time and evolve him one more time into Loudred. Or Explosion, sorry. Loudred is the second evolution. What am I saying? I'm really all over the place today with my commentary. Apologies. I'm having too much fun, and sometimes that leads to me just, uh. You know. Getting a little. Little. I guess. Dumb. <laughs> like I said, I'm the worst at multitasking. Like, I can't talk about something not related to the game, read messages from chat, read messages from Discord, and play the game all at the same time and expect myself to be a properly functioning human being. It's just not possible. I'm not... I am not a good and stable person. I cannot function at a high level as a human being. I like the ho -Oh card as well. That ho -Oh looks dope. Yvidal looks cool too. Crunch? Sure, we'll learn Crunch, why not? Yeah, a lot of those cards are really cool. Kyogre, Rocket Zapdos, that's dope. Yeah. 
So, we obtained Explode, or Exploud, however you want to pronounce it. And, uh... We can add him now to the Living Decks, which is pretty awesome. That's another box complete. Thanks to Exploud. I'm pronouncing his name right. Apologies that I wasn't doing so earlier. So, with the exception of Kubfu, after today's stream, we are now three boxes complete in our living decks, which is awesome. Let's move on to box four, where if we go catch Sandile, another one of them, or another two of them, I should say, we can get his evolutions and add those to the living decks. Easy peasy. Yeah. Let's head back to the desert area of this game. I mean, the quickest way to go do it would be to fly there. So let's head out of the cave so we can use the Corviknight taxi. Head to the desert and catch two sand eyes along the way. Easy peasy. When I said there was only four cards per pack, I did not think I'd get anything good. Yeah, you got a lot of good cards. That's pretty awesome. One sand dial down. Let's catch two more, please. Or one more. Sorry, we need two total. Like I said, not very good at multitasking. I'm over here looking things up on Google, talking to chat, and then messing up my words along the way. It's okay. I don't get myself down too much. I don't ever expect perfect commentary from myself. Therefore, I, I hope that the chat doesn't expect perfect commentary from me either. I try to make up for my... Yeah. Uh, we'll say... Mediocre commentary sometimes. With good gameplay, you know? Just the best gameplay. And, you know what? I'll, I won't get myself down in that regard either. I don't think my commentary is mediocre. I think I got good humor. I think I... I am... Above average when it comes to my speech. I just mess up my words a lot. <laughs> I talk too fast and I like to talk about so many things at once. It's a problem. My brain is like always running on a million miles a minute. Like I said, I, I literally could be thinking about, like, Pokemon, for example, the thing we're streaming right now. One second, and then the next second, I'm thinking about how I want to carve pumpkins tomorrow. And there's no correlation between those two things. I'll just flip a switch, and like I said, in, a, in an instant, the topic has changed in my brain. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, Krokorok obtained. Now we need to get a Crocodile. The one stand at the con has Pokemon cards. First card is a full art at $7. Each pack has 50 cards in it. Huh. That's pretty cool. 50 cards and other packs at $4. Huh. That sounds really cool. This whole convention you've been telling me about in the last two streams has sounded... I don't know. Like, just awesome in general. Right up my alley. Especially with all the Pokemon stuff there.
I definitely miss like collecting Pokemon figurines and plushes and stuff. Dude, I'm so dumb. I pressed the B button instead of the A button and stopped this evolution. God dang it. What am I doing? Alright, evolve. Please. Please. Can I, can I have some beats, please? It's my little Russian lady. Please, have some beats. Alright, now we got a crocodile. <laughs> Didn't press the B button this time. I'm always spamming the A button just to get through all of the endless text boxes. But that time I guess I accidentally spammed the B button. My bad. Mobby. Alright. Next thing we gotta do is go back to the daycare. Not because I want to, but because I have to. We gotta, uh... Gotta breed Scrout. I think that's his name, right? Scrout. All I know is it's not available to me as a Pokemon Sword player. As it's a shield exclusive Pokemon. Or Skrelp, sorry. Skrelp is his name. Mispronounced it a little bit. Skrelp is only available in Pokemon Shield, so I cannot catch it in Pokemon Sword. Therefore, for me to obtain another one, I have to breed. Hopefully, actually, I can get an egg from Skrelp. Hopefully it doesn't count as baby Pokemon. I guess I can Google that real quickly. Oh, well, before I could even Google it, we found an egg, so... I guess it doesn't count as a baby Pokemon. <laughs> That's good. I'll put Skrull back in the PC. And we will hatch this egg real quick. And once we eventually hatch this egg, to evolve it, we need to get it to level 48. So... It's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take quite a few EXP candies, that's for sure. Today I spent a total of twenty dollars. Got two, seven dollars, and one that was four dollars, eighteen dollars. There's something there today that had dice in them. That was two dollars. Oh. So you play, like, a, a fun little guessing game. That sounds kind of cool. I used to love playing, like, guessing-type games at, like, fairs and amusement parks. Or, or the opposite, like, competing in them. So, like, the games where, you know... The employee at the fair has to like guess your age or your birthday or your weight. So the weight one for me is kind of too easy because I'm pretty average weight, so the you know person at the music park can guess my weight pretty easily. Um, so I'll usually like have them guess my birthday. I've never lost the weight one. Fair, I guess. I think the birthday one is completely up to chance, so I think that one is the most likely to win. I mean, at the same uh, at the same time, it's the most likely to lose. But wait, wouldn't you lose then? Because a lot of places nowadays that you have to be with, they have to guess it within like fifty pounds. They're within 50 pounds of the right, they win. Yeah, most places nowadays, like, because they're trying to, like, make the rules in favor of the carnival or the amusement park. Like, they don't want to lose money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't do the weight one because it's, like, too easy. I mean, some places might still do 15. But a 
a lot of places nowadays will be like 50 pounds. Because they don't want the park to lose money. I mean, that's very possible, Zach. It's a different place to place, but... Yeah, I just use birth- I, I usually just do birthday because it's, like, the most likely of winning, while well, at the same time the most likely of losing. But, it's just pure luck at that point. What do we gotta get to again? Oh yeah, level 48 to evolve Skrull. 48. Taking quite a few EXP candies to get there. I might do an extra large candy next time. Hmm. Let's try an extra large candy. Okay, gave us a nice boost. I like it. Get rid of water tail. Or Water Pulse. Or Dragon Pulse. I don't know what I'm saying, bro. Now we'll learn Aqua Tail. Okay. Oh my gosh, Skrelp. Killing me. Bro, just evolve already. I didn't think it would take this many EXP candies. This dude is draining me of all of my money. Give me my fucking money. Alright. Your scrub evolved into Dragology. Which, honestly, this Pokemon looks so cool. I love it. I love it so much. I think it's... One of the coolest looking Pokemon of the recent generations. I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. Anyways, moving on. Launcher is our next one. Next one we gotta catch. Uh, not because we need another Launcher, but because we need its evolution. So, well, let's fly back to the Olive Armor first. And then we'll check for its habitat. I don't know why I said that with such a weird cadence. Habitat. I'm gonna look for its habitat, brothers. <laughs> Alright. Where can we find a clauncher? Okay, it's pretty much anywhere and any weather condition in the oceans. Cool. Anywhere, any weather condition. I wonder though, because I haven't found one in a while. Is it a random encounter? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I just haven't seen one in so long, so... It's making me second-guess myself as to whether or not it's like a random encounter or something. We'll, we'll investigate the oceans a little bit here. We'll, we'll check things out. I don't know. Maybe we'll head over to those trees. Of course, there's a Sharpedo now, heading for me. Trying to kill me. Don't appreciate it. Oh my god, he almost got me. And of course, another Sharpedo. Leave me alone, please. You annoying ass hell. Just want a Clauncher. Clauncher is another Pokemon we're definitely gonna shiny hunt because it's just so cool. It's shiny is actually a cooked shrimp. Regular Pokemon, raw shrimp. Shiny, cooked shrimp. I mean, if that ain't the coolest thing you ever did done see, I don't know what is. Hmm.
No Kalantra, though, that we're seeing immediately here. I don't remember gonna catch one. That's the problem I'm having. God dang it, Sharpedo, leave me alone. Did I look it up on Cerebi? Oh, it's just a very low percentage, that's why. The five percent of finding it. We just gotta keep searching around on the the water surface. It's just annoying because Sharpedo's gonna keep trying to fucking attack me. Sharpedo is the most irritating thing about the Isle of Armor. I'm just constantly attacking you and chasing after you. Oh my god, Sharpede. You are so annoying. Alright. I'll keep looking for a little bit, but in order to like save time, I might breed the Clauncher we do have. Like, I might just take it to the daycare. Because it is a 5% chance of finding one, and we are not getting good luck right now. Normally, like I said, I, I'm trying to avoid the daycare. I'm trying to catch as many Pokemon as we can. And this is a Pokemon we could catch. The problem is, Sharpedo is trying to um, make that uh, much more irritating than it needs to be. Like, I would, I would not even consider going to the daycare and breeding for a second Clauncher. And I would keep looking for hours and hours for a second Clauncher. If there weren't Sharpedo constantly chasing me. But because there are Sharpedo making this whole process annoying. Um, I might go to the daycare soon. Just because it is getting annoying. <laughs> But, and plus, it will save us a lot of time if we go to the daycare. It will save us a lot of time this stream. I already have the lawnmower over Tom, so I don't need to catch that. Yeah, we're just not finding much of anything here. Not finding any clauncher. Just a lot of Sharpedo that are trying to ruin our day. I don't think we can actually find a Clauncher in Luke Lagoon. I'm gonna leave. Go back into the Stepping Stone and see. If we make it to the tower over there without finding one, I'll fly to the daycare and just breed for one. Because I'm getting a little bored and the Sharpedo are really annoying me. Like, they're constantly chasing me and kind of like cutting out paths that I can't search. You know what I mean? Like, they're getting in my way of areas I would like to search for Clauncher, but I can't because Sharpedo are there. Well, I don't see any any launcher around the tower. I think we had to the daycare here. 
just save ourselves a little bit of time. Be a little efficient here. Alright. Hello, daycare lady. How are you? Like the quantra in the daycare, please. I'm gonna put Cinderace in the box so we can actually have a space for the egg that we're gonna obtain. And um Yeah. We'll get ourselves a second Quantra this way. As much as I love Sharpedo as a Pokemon, don't get me wrong, like he's he's great. I have a shiny Sharpedo that I absolutely adore. The Sharpedo in this game, specifically, the Sharpedo that you encounter in the wild, just the worst. So annoying. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna hatch this egg and actually... I think we might do a little bit of a switcheroo here. What you gonna do? It's a switcheroo. Um, because the egg we're gonna hatch is gonna be level 1, but the clauncher we have in the box is level 13. So it would be faster to evolve the clauncher we have in our box than the egg we're going to hatch. If that makes sense. This clauncher in our box, level 13. The egg we're hatching, level 1. It, it would just take less time to evolve the clauncher in our box. So... We're going to evolve the clauncher in our box, and we're going to switch them. Once these egg hatches, we will switch it with the one in our box. Don't know what this accent is. I quickly adopted for no reason, but... Uh, work with me here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just going a little crazy this year. I've had... I'm having, like, too much fun. That's, that's how you know a stream is either going really, really good or really, really bad is when I start to go a little crazy. Like yesterday's stream, which I deleted, by the way, because it was just going downhill. Um, I, you know, started to rage a little bit. And that's like a bad kind of crazy. Today's stream is going so good that it's like a, it's a good kind of crazy. Like I'm losing my sanity in a healthy way. <laughs> if there is such a thing as losing your sanity in a healthy way. I would say so. Got ourselves a level 1 Clauncher. And we'll just switch it out with our level 13 Clauncher. Okay. And we gotta evolve this boy to level 37 in order to get him to evolve. Yeah, yesterday's stream was one of the first times in a long time I'd actually deleted um, first time in a long time I actually deleted a stream like deleted a VOD completely from my Twitch account because of rage but I was just so annoyed I don't know, I can't explain it but playing Pokemon Unite yesterday and getting such terrible teammates back to back who just didn't even understand how to play the game like they were just sitting in our spawn oh just thinking about it again is making me angry i don't even want to talk about it but yeah that's why i deleted the stream because i actually got angry for the first time in a long time i haven't raged like that in a long long time i've been pretty good at like no reforming myself and changing myself for the better on stream like i used to rage a lot on stream i'll admit that but lately i've been doing a good job of uh not doing that and not raging but yesterday's stream it, it brought back the the old caleb
Okay. That's an easy evolve right there. And another Pokemon added to our living decks. Beautiful. Clotzer added. So what are we going for next? Oh no, we gotta get Porygon and all his annoying of evolutions. Porygon. Do we even have the upgrade? I know we just got the dubious disc. Like, recently. <laughs> we found it. But do we even have the upgrade? Oh, we do have the upgrade. We have the upgrade and the dubious disc. How are we gonna get both, though? We only have one of each. How the heck am I expected to get both of these things? I might skip this for now. Because I don't know how I'm going to catch both of these things. Unless I can look at my Pokedex and find that these Pokemon are actually obtainable. Oh wait, I gotta fly back to the Isle of Armor before I can check that information. Oh, this is going to be annoying to catch both Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. Because I only have one upgrade and one dubious disc. I'm like trying to run the numbers in my head and do like mathematics. But uh... I don't know how this is going to work, boys. Yeah, because the habitat is unknown for Porygon 2. I don't know how we're expected to catch this. Apparently I have a Porygon 2 and it's shiny. I probably got that. Probably got that from a surprise trade and it's probably hacked. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that hacked Porygon 2 and we're just gonna use it as a placeholder for now. It's gonna be a placeholder. Because I don't know how else we're gonna get a Porygon 2. And a Porygon Z, I should say. I don't know how we're going to get both. But I think we might skip this box for now. Because Drac is not here currently to help us trade. That's a toughie. This is actually going to be a tough situation. The game has put me in. So, is there anything else we can catch here, or do we go to the Crown Tundra? No, there's nothing else we can catch here, we just go to the Crown Tundra. Interesting. Interesting. Well, as far as Crown Tundra is concerned, Electabuzz would be next up. Next thing we're going to catch. Also, I don't think we're going to stream for much longer, because I'm starting to run out of steam here. How do we get Elekid, by the way? Because Elekid is actually what we need, not Electabuzz. Do we need a specific item to breed for it? No, we don't. Okay. So, to get Elekid, we need to, funnily enough, go back to the daycare where we just were. And we don't need a specific item to breed for it. We just need to throw Electabuzz in the daycare. How strange. I mean, this is a turn of events I was not expecting, but you know, to be fair, we've been kind of killing it tonight, for lack of a better word. We've had a very, very easy stream, so I should have expected at least some difficulty here. Like, we're actually having some struggle 
here at the end of the stream, which I guess makes sense after all the luck we've had this evening. But anyways, like I said, I think we're gonna get Elekid, and then maybe a couple other Pokemon after that, and then I will end the stream for that. I mean, I, I gotta say, I'm just gonna throw it out there. We have killed it tonight. We have absolutely destroyed the game. We have caught so many Pokemon in such little amount of time. It's crazy. Like, I'm very, very proud. Very, very proud of us. And, uh, I don't know. All I'm gonna say is, with this pace, if we can keep this pace up, we could probably finish our Pokedex. You know, I don't want to get too cocky, but with the math I'm doing in my head, like, maybe three more streams of this, we could probably finish our Pokedex. Obviously, there's going to be some gaps, like Cubfu and other legendary Pokemon of similar nature, but I don't really count those because we can't catch that Pokemon unless we play the game all over again. So, without, you know, counting that, um, I'm saying we can finish the Pokedex in maybe three more streams. Which, I'm very, very happy to say. Like, that is much, I don't even know, like, I thought this would take me a lot longer. I thought this whole process was going to take me many more streams than it has and I thought we would have a lot more difficulty completing this whole living decks but I'm just proud of us I don't know I know I, I sound very shocked right now and that's because I'm very proud of myself and the chat who has helped me along the way I don't want to come across as cocky, I'm, I'm just proud and, and somewhat baffled, which is why I'm talking very like slow and <laughs> kind of shocked. <laughs> so yeah, it's awesome that we're going to get this done and, and we're going to accomplish this feat way sooner than I imagined. We just got to hatch this egg and we'll have an Elekid and after that I guess we can go for Magby if we don't have Magby. I'm just trying to look at the list. I don't think we have Magby. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do Magby next. I'm also excited to get back into uh, shiny hunting after all this. I miss shiny hunting. Those streams were fun. And they were just like chill, you know? It's kind of just like sitting back, talking to chat. Didn't really have to focus much on the game, and we could relax. It was almost like uh, binge watching Netflix, but instead of Netflix, it was playing Pokemon. That's the best way I can describe Shiny Hunting Streams. Just binging Pokemon for a couple hours. This egg is taking forever to hatch, though. I don't know why. I mean, I don't have Chandelure in my party, because I was too lazy to put Chandelure in my party, but still, that egg was taking forever to hatch. This Elekid did not want to come out. Which, I can't blame him. I would not want to, uh, live in this world either, but... Come on now, buddy. I need you for my living decks. Oh, you know what? Not only do we need a Magby, we need Magmar. What? No, we don't have Magmar. Hold up, let me go down to the Crown Tundra here. I'm gonna check something out. Pokedex. 
Crown Tundra, Pokedex, Magmar. Where's this boy at? Oh, we, you know why we don't have him? Because he's only obtainable in such a specific weather condition. And that weather condition is not present today. Kind of annoying. Uh, you know what? Then we're going to breed for him. If we can't catch him today, I'm not going to wait to catch him another day. I want to catch him today. So we'll breed for him. Why not? So, mortar. I'm just gonna look him up real quick online so I can see what I need to do to evolve this guy. Okay, just level 30 to get Magmar. Not too shabby. I'm gonna have to put Corviknight and Cinderace in the box. And you know what? I'll actually get Chandelure in my party this time to hatch these eggs faster. Okay. So we need two eggs. One for Magmar and one for Magby. I forgot his name for a second. Two eggs, two eggs. This will actually probably be the last Pokemon we catch then for the night. And then I'll then I'll be done for the evening. Two eggs, now we can take my Pokemon back. Mag Mortar, put him back in the box where he's supposed to go. We'll hatch both these eggs. One will just be Magby, and the other will be another Magby, but we're evolving it into Magmar. Awesome. This will be a nice, simple way to end the stream. Two new Pokemon we are obtaining. And adding to our living decks. Like I said, we got a lot done tonight. We caught a lot of new Pokemon. We are really rushing through this game. I mean, there is no 100% completion for this game, but I mean, catching them all is pretty much the closest thing you can do to 100% completing the game. So that's why I'm trying to catch them all. Because I love, I love beating games just in the first place, and I also love 100% completing games. Though, I've had to kind of give that up a little bit over time, because there, like I said, there's just some games you can't 100% complete, because there's no kind of definition for such. There's no real distinguished laid-out path for, oh, this is how you 100% this game. But also, the reason I've kind of stopped caring so much, and I've, I've had to let go of 100% of <laughs> um, games, is because there's some games out there that are just too difficult to 100%. So, as much as I love 100% of games, I, I don't do it as as much as I used to, because it's so difficult sometimes. Like Stardew Valley, one of my favorite games of all time. There's one achievement that I just have accepted I will never obtain. This is too difficult. Which is a bummer, because it's one of my favorite games of all time, but I just have accepted that Stardew Valley I will forever 99% complete, not 100% complete. <laughs> Which I'm okay with, because that, that one achievement is just garbage. It's it's too difficult. It's too much. Too much for my, my poor heart to uh, put up with. Anyways. Let's level up this Magby. Awesome. Ember, smokescreen, 
Clear Smog. Do we want to learn Clear Smog? Yeah, we'll learn it. Ooh, we will learn Flame Wheel as well. We'll get rid of Clear Smog for that. Ugh. Use Ray, we will learn. No scary face. Fire Punch, we will learn. Hi, Abby. We learn Flame Punch here. Yeah, we'll learn Flame Punch here. Okay. We got ourselves a Magmar. Not too shabby. Alrighty. And that'll be how we end things for the night. Like I said, just wanted to... You know, spend a couple hours... Hatching as many Pokemon as we could, and I feel like we did a good job. I mean... We have completed quite a few boxes now of our living decks. So that's one, two minus Cub Fu, three, four minus Porygon Z. So four boxes completed tonight um, in our living decks. So next time we stream this, we'll start working on Crown Tundra Pokemon. And hopefully we can finish some of those. We have a lot of legendary boxes that are not filled at all. So like, for example, this box is missing a ton of Pokemon. But almost every Pokemon missing this box is a legendary, so that's why so many are missing. Um, but that's okay. And yeah, there's only a few boxes left then, actually, that we need to finish off. So, we'll try to complete this and, like I said, I think maybe three more streams. Um, and that's maybe even pushing it. Maybe we get to two more streams. If they're longer streams, like tonight's stream is only two hours, and that's because I um, took a nap today after eating so much Chinese food. So if we streamed for longer periods of time, we can maybe get this on two hours. Or two hours, two streams, two streams. Got my words mixed up. I definitely need to, to end things here before I continue to just stumble over my words. So thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by if you did. Hope you all have a nice night. I will try to as well, and I'll see you all later. Peace.